Hello everyone, welcome to Adnan's Garage. In today's video, I'll show you a Ford Focus MK2 DPF issue, diesel particle filter issue. I'm getting this engine system fault error. I got this before, but I did reset, simple reset, and it was gone. But after a few months, it came back. So today I'm going to show you that I have this Otel OBD reader that I want to do the DPF regeneration static one where I'll park the car and uh, I'll do the regeneration and see if it works. I will show you the code now, but if you like the video, please do a thumbs up uh, in the end of the video and do subscribe. Thank you. When I start the car, so you see engine systems fault, and I will also show you if I read the error code, it is about the, that the particle filter is um, choked and you need to replace it or clean it and replacing it is really expensive and time consuming so this time and adding those liquids can also work but I have not tried them but today I will try this method with this device. This device here Otel MaxiCheck and in this one there was a feature it's not that expensive it's uh, $200 around $200 so we'll connect it here and then uh, yeah you don't need to turn on it just takes power so it has this option of dpf oops sorry no it's not that expensive one so it's not a touch control european choose eu ford uh, automatic selection what is that so after the automatic one it says so mine is 2007 I think it is this one okay first I think I can go into diagnosis no let's see what function and I choose the regeneration static dynamic is if you want to run the car and do it while driving Turn ignition on. Okay. So it says what will happen. The engine speed. Smoke 10 minutes. Okay. 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 Okay, start engine now. Previously, it was just ignition on. Turn on the headlamps and heated rear windshield. Heated rear windshield. That is this. Yeah, it's in parking. Let's see. I'll go and check how to turn which way the headlights are on. I forgot. I think they're on in this mode. I think they want to have the maximum load on the car. Turn on the heated rear inferior. Please turn on the heated front windshield and AC as well. Okay. I did the reset on the codes and now it started and, and then I did the static regeneration it says somehow that it's not recommended but I'm still doing it let's see how it goes so the car is picking up the rpm on its own I hope everything is safe Now the acceleration is down. It's not scary anymore. Let's see. I'm just scared. So I'm hiding on the corner. I don't want to be near the car. You shouldn't be near the car, I think.
So the regeneration is done and if I start there is no engine light there is no code on this so it looks like it's better from the previous one it looks much better now but I'm still bit I'm still a bit skeptical about it because I did reset it said like uh, maybe the DPF is full and it was giving error so I had to reset the error codes and then it, I did the static regeneration as I've shown you on the OBD um, I'll see if it comes back in uh, in a week or month or if I see any changes I'll update I'll list in the description about uh, which Autel Max I have used you can use the same uh, it costs $200 but you can also rent from uh, from online some place or garage and you can do it yourself but be careful <laughs> I won't stop near the car because the high RPM was high and I was like engine will blast or there will be fire and it will kill me but uh, it didn't happen luckily so you do it carefully and uh, I bear no consequences if anything happens to you do it in your own risk but do give thumbs up subscribe the channel and i'll update you if anything changes if it keeps on going i will not post video about it but if uh, it comes back or if anything happens i'll post video about it but that's the cheapest way to do it like for example the new dpf cost you four five hundred dollars and then the labor maybe three to three hundred dollars or more but if if even if it comes back if you do it regularly if your car is not regenerating the dpf you can do it regularly after a few thousand kilometers and it cleans 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 and uh, you don't have to change it but you don't have to wait until it's full and it gives the error like it gives to me and it goes into the limp mode you don't have to wait for that you can do it earlier so have a nice day bye